Hello, welcome to part two of the series. Um, today we'll be talking about um, DVOA, which is an acronym that stands for uh, Defense Adjusted Value Over Average. Um, so we're going to start off by looking at two hypothetical players. Um, and we'll say they play the same position. Um, and so they each attempt, earn three different plays. Um, player A run, gets 18 yards total, and player B gets 12 yards total. So if you were to say uh, who the better player is, uh, you would assume player A, just looking at these numbers, um, just because um, looking only at this, player A gets more yards per play. Um, but this isn't necessarily true if you dig a little deeper into the situations behind the numbers. Um, so in football, um, you have four downs to so get 10 yards. Um, so the most important things you can do are to score points or to get more first downs. And so DVOA is a stat that takes these things into account um, when figuring out uh, which players are better. So it goes a little bit below uh, the raw total. Um, so the way it's done is that it looks at unique situations and then assigns a success point um, if these criteria are met. Uh, so you can see uh, from, or you can see these are the downs in football, first, second, third, or fourth. Um, and so in the first down, um, a play will be deemed successful if um, a player gets at least 45% um, of the yards on a play. So if it's first and 10, um, if you gain five yards, that's a successful play. Second down, since you have one fewer down, uh, the standard goes up a little bit, so it's 60%. So second and 10, you would need six yards to get a success point. And then for third or fourth down, in order to get a success point, um, you need to get um, all of the, or at least all of the yards, get another first down. Um, so this is the basics of it. Um, and there are a few bonuses built into the system as well, and a few penalties. So you can see, uh, for more or for more yards you gain, you get more points. So if you get um, 10 yards and a first down, then we get an additional three points. Um, greater than 20 yards, we'll get you four additional points. And greater than 40 yards, we'll get you uh, five additional points. And you'll notice that um, these are all conditional on getting a first down, um, because if the example is say. A third and 25 and you only gain 20 yards it's an impressive amount of yardage um, but there is no conversion so um, ultimately it's empty yardage which just means that it looks good in raw statistics but isn't necessarily get to one of the goals of scoring a touchdown or getting more chances to score a touchdown um, and there are also penalties in the system as well Uh, so the penalties built to the system are um, for f if you lose three yards in a play, then you get negative one point. Um, if you fumble, you lose anywhere between 1.7 to 4 points. Um, so DVOA, as I've said, deals with situational, um, or is a more situational stat, takes that into account. Um, so in situations where it'd be worse to fumble, like say when you're closer to your end zone, that would be a worse fumble than around midfield or so. And then an interception um, is minus six points. Um, and so how so this number will end up being a percentage. And so the way you do it is that you find the average of the entire uh, league, figure out what a player or defense or an offense's um, number of success points is equal to. And then you figure out what percentage that is compared to the average or compared to the average, which is then adjusted for defense. That's the name DVOA. Um, so now I'll go back to the original players. Um, so you can see again, 3 and 18 for player A and 3 and 12 for player B. Um, so we will run some situation, or we'll do a situation to show that player A is necessarily, is not necessarily a better than uh, player B. And we'll assume that for three attempts, the average or the, DV, or the average um, number of points um, on plays like this 
is equal to um, 1.5. As you can see, these are player A's plays we've set up. Uh, so in first and 10, he'll run for five yards. That's a success point. Um, second down and eight, he'll run for four yards. Um, so that's no points because it's less than 60%. And then third and 15, nine yards. And again, no success point because you're going to get a conversion. So he has in total one success point. So now we'll look at some plays for B and figure out what that total is equal to. Uh, so you can see in these examples, um, player B in first and 10 ran for nine yards, so that's a success point. On third and one, he ran for one yard, which is conversion, so that's another point. And on fourth and two, got two yards, so another success point. Uh, so now we have the success points, and we're still saying the average is 1.5. So now we'll calculate um, what each of their DVOA is for uh, this number of plays. Uh, so you can see just from some uh, basic math that uh, player one has a DVOA of negative 33% and player B has a DVOA of 100% positive. Um, since positive numbers are better, we see that even though his raw totals aren't quite as high as player A, uh, player B does better um, depending on the situation. Um, I hope that explained DVOA to you. Um, hope you'll check out the rest of the series. Uh, be sure to go to the Center of Math website, centerofmath.org, um, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.